Hey there, you gorgeous lot. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Laura and I am the founder and owner of That's So Laura UK and we are a handmade hair accessories and jewelry business. Also dabble in a little bit of slow fashion from now and then. Uh, if you are looking for some awesome behind the scenes content, some market trading, some sneak peek on products, a day in the life of, a little bit of realism because the majority of the time I do not wear makeup, um, it is really awesome to have you here. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you love what you see and I can't wait to speak to you soon. It's Thursday. It is 10 to 3. It's 10 to 3 on Thursday. Um, I am back in the studio. Always have Thursday mornings off because I look after my little one before he goes to his grandparents. Um, so yeah, lots to do today. Um, I've got nothing on this weekend, which is nice to be having a bit of a break this week. Usually I have double markets over the weekend, especially November, December time. But you know what? I thought why not? I'm going to have a little break this morning, this morning, this weekend even. So, so yeah, having a little break this weekend. Um, excited about that. Um, but today I've got lots to do. I've got a whole single order which I'm finishing off. Um, get all the labels on, so I'll show you how to do that. And then I'm going to sew a load of tubes because not this weekend, but next weekend I'm going to pop up in the Palm House and that's going to be a crazy event. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So I've got a lot of label making and scrunchie sewing um, but i've actually got my actual label labels that go in my scrunchies haven't been delivered yet not getting delivered till tomorrow and they're a little bit late which has been a bit concerning so fingers crossed they arrive in time <laughs> um yeah otherwise uh let me show you what i'm doing this is my wholesale box currently so i've got lots of xl scrunchies already packed in here as you can see i've got the labels always have what they are and then a little bit of information about the product on the back. Um, sometimes they have the RRP, sometimes they don't, depending on whether the um, customer, the wholesaler has required that. Um, some people like to do offers and deals on them, so sometimes having the RRP on them is not ideal, but also for gifting, um, for gifting purposes. So if they are being gifted one of these scrunchies, they come lovely, and then at least on the back, it doesn't tell you how much it is, it's just got a little bit of information about the scrunchie. So I'm really pleased with the way these all look so far. So they're in, this is the first box. I've got a ton of clips which I've got to go in this box as well, which I've just been curing over here. These ones here. As they've all got to go on the backing cards, which you can just see. What's my weird finger? Just see there. <laughs> um, when they're on the backing cards, they're going to be wrapped and go into this box. So I'm excited for this. So stay tuned. I'll show you what's going on. It's 10.32 and it's Friday! Um, I have been working for the last well, half an hour, 40 minutes. Um, I have been finishing sewing the labels on some scrunchies I made for a wholesale order. Um, here they are, all ready to be trimmed. Excited about this. Um, yeah, just because a few of you have asked. This is what I use when I'm using um, fabrics that are funny going through my machine. It is just a, it's actually an embroidery backing um, paper that I bought from, oh God, I think I bought it from Amazon about seven years ago. Or well, it probably was sooner than that. When I, it was during COVID, so it wasn't seven years, it wasn't quite seven years ago. Um, when I was having a little practice, a little go at embroidering, I had a massive big roll of this and I don't embroider because I'm never good at it. Um, so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to use, I'm going to use some of this and basically this stops it, and I don't know if you can see, stops it from snagging in the machine because when the machine, so the foot pulls some fabric through the machine, um, sometimes it snags and it catches, especially with like satins and things, and then it just doesn't look very nice and I'm really disappointed. So I'm going to go ahead and snip them all and take all the backing bits off and crack on. It's 6.39, it is Monday night, and I know you can't see my face, but I am trying out my brand new um, arm, which I'm really excited about, because it does like bird's eye views. So I'm super excited about this, but I am just getting ready to set my next Christmassy silicone mold. 
Um, so with this one, I cut the pieces of um, snowflake and Christmas tree um, all out on my dad's CNC machine. Well, actually, I didn't can't take credit. He did this for me this time, but usually that's the process we would take. Um, and then I got these little trays from Ikea, which are like perfectly flat. They're actually lids from tubs, but they're perfectly flat. So it just makes setting molds on these so much easier. Um, I've stuck all these down so that they don't move so that I can go ahead and pour a mold. So I'm gonna mix some silicon. Now I'm not a master at the arts of silicon to literally just use these, which I got from Amazon. I got some new ones today. Um, I'm still learning, I'm very much learning about silicon molds and how that works. This is five to seven and it is Monday and I have been really busy sewing today, but also I just want to show you something really cool that I have just bought that I got over today. This is my desk arm. I'm really excited about this. I've just done and you'll have just seen a load of filming um, on this because I can do like overhead filming, which is really exciting. And I've literally just set my Christmas silicone mold for my Christmas earrings. I'm just really excited about this. I can't wait to sort of start using this for some of my photography because I'm not very good at taking flat lays and hopefully this will come in handy. It's 20 past two and it is Tuesday. Um, I should not sing. <laughs> yes, 20 past two, it's Tuesday. I am in the studio. I have been to the gym, so I am full of energy. Um, this is my second time back to the gym. Second time this week, second time back in months. Um, I went yesterday as well had two really good sessions so I'm really pleased and it's lady time so I was worried that I'm not gonna be able to cope but I've smashed it so yeah so today I've got lots of bits going on um, I've got a lot of prep for pop up in the palm house which is this weekend and I have got a lot of Christmas stock which I wanted to launch today <laughs> but that's not gonna happen so maybe we'll launch tomorrow instead um, so yeah I will show you the silicon mold I made I poured it last night and I've started setting resin in it this morning so take a little look at what I've been doing this morning and yesterday. It's quarter past seven. Um, it's still Tuesday. I am in the studio again this evening, just for a little bit. I've got a big pile of tubes behind me. Um, I can't see them. A huge pile of scrunchy tubes that I need to flip this evening. Before that, I'm gonna get some more resin set because I've got the palm house this weekend. Um, always a busy event, always sells really well. So because of that, I need to crack on, get some earrings done, get some clips done, my molds ready to go um and then i've also got some of these here which are just curing well they've just finished curing they were just a little bit flimsy in places but i'm really pleased with them these little christmas earrings and these snowflakes 
are just gorgeous. I'm so pleased with how they've turned out, so hopefully everyone loves them as much as I do. It's quarter to two and my mum is helping me. Uh, what day is it? What day is it? Wednesday. It's quarter to two on Wednesday. And we are We're not in. listening to Christmas music at all. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting in the mood for this weekend, which is probably in the part of my house. I know I've said this many times already this week, but I'm excited. Let me show you what we're doing. I am getting some clips ready and then I am going to start doing some of my Christmas earrings. Look at how pretty these are. Uh, really excited for these. And then my mum is doing some elastic for all the scrunchies there and all the scrunchies there. So we are prepping for this week's Christmas launch because um, hopefully all my Christmas products are gonna make it online by Friday. <laughs> Um, well, they got to be by Friday because tomorrow is my last day off this week. Uh, stay off, not in a market. So, wish us luck. It's 10 past nine and it is Thursday. And I am just about to start prepping for, setting up for a Christmas photo shoot for all of my Christmas products. Um, yeah, really excited about this launch, although it's been a bit of a long time coming and it's very last minute, but we're rolling with it. I'm gonna chug it up and hope for the best. So last week was a killer week, um, <laughs> I am so tired. Palm House was incredibly successful for me. Um, I had two record breaking days for my um, my brand and small business, so I had such a good time. Um, unfortunately, I have come up with another cold and I have twinged my upper back, so I am just mustering through. Um, but I have got exchange flags this weekend, Friday and Saturday in Liverpool, so I'm really looking forward to being back. Um, that means I've got a lot of work to do. So I wish me luck, stay tuned, and can't wait to see you next time.